Hey, hi, hello there, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the One Piece My Mind No Me mod for your Android device. Yes, playing on your phone is totally possible by using the Pojav launcher, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to use that, uh, how to download it, and how to get all that on your phone pretty quickly, and then I'll show you how to adjust the controls a little bit so you can play. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, on your phone, go to the Play Store, just like this. Now, once you're in the Play Store, you wanna look for an app called Pojav Launcher, and you wanna go ahead and install. I have it installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And once you open it, you're gonna to wanna to log in. You see I'm logged in as Wally Moto. If you click up here, upper left-hand corner, you can go ahead and add an account. You can log in with the Microsoft account if you bought it. I highly suggest you just paying for Minecraft. And from here, you can go ahead and create a new profile, like this, create a new profile, and you're gonna to wanna to select your game. Now we're gonna go ahead and select uh, a version right here. I'm gonna click save and now I'm gonna play it for the first time. Now you should see it says one task in progress. This might take a little bit of time for it to load up. Just give it some time. Now, once you open it up, it should look something like this with up, down, left, right arrows, some commands, some left click, right click moves. We're gonna have to add a few more buttons to get this to work properly. We're gonna go ahead and click quit. All right, so as soon as you install the Pojav launcher, you wanna go to Google and you wanna look up Forge 1.16.5 because that's the version of Minecraft we're gonna play to install this mod. Okay, so go ahead and click the first link. It should be this Minecraft Forge and you can go ahead and click the latest or recommended. It should be relatively the same thing. I'm gonna go to the recommended, click installer, and then you're just gonna kind of zoom into the corner over here and wait for this for about five seconds. The skip button should appear right here and just click skip and then it should download your file. Okay, great. So now you go out and go back to Pojav Launcher. Now what you wanna do in here is click the install.jar and you're just gonna click this forge, okay? Be sure to click the right forge version if you have multiple. And then you're gonna get this weird thing popping up. Um, go ahead and click this X over here so you can see the installer. Uh, so this installer window, just click install client and click okay. Now give it some time to install and it should take a few minutes possibly depending on your phone specs and then you should get the successful window click OK and then you just want to manually exit from here so I'm just gonna scroll up and exit out make sure you hard exit okay so fully exit out and then come back in and then you want to make sure you have this forge 1.16.5 installed okay and if you don't have it you may want to go to edit um, and then make sure you select the version, the correct version. Go ahead and click play so you can actually install the mods folder and get this running. You need to do this usually to get the mods folder. If your game doesn't work or if you get exit one or some weird thing like that on the start of the game, just go up to this kind of switch hamburger button, top right hand corner. You wanna go to video rendering and you should kind of click something like this holy GL4ES. It should be automatically selected. It seems to be the fastest. If you scroll down, you wanna enable sustained performance mode. Uh, and you want to use alternate surface render. I turned those on and seemed to fix my issues. Other than that, it should work. Again, if you have any issues, let me know in the comments below. Let's get back to it. And now it might take some time, so just wait. It's going to be a black screen for a while, then it'll be a red screen for 1.16.5. So just give it a few minutes and it should load. Now, once it opens up, you notice you have this mods folder. You go ahead and quit the game. Um, and we'll move on from there. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to Google and search My Mind Know Me and go ahead and click this Curse Forge link and from here you can go ahead and download the latest by clicking the download button or you can go to files and then go ahead and click the latest version just pay attention which versions is for this is for 1.16.5 so whatever the forge version you installed uh, should match the version of minecraft this mod is made for in this case they're both 1.16.5 so click the little download button and then you're just gonna wait a few seconds and it should start to download. So it says file might be harmful, that's totally fine. It's not gonna be harmful for the most part if you did it correctly, click download anyway, and then you should be good to go. Okay, now the next thing we need is a file manager. You wanna go ahead to your Play Store, you wanna go ahead and type file manager, and it's gonna be this second one down, cold file manager. They're all cold file manager, but it's this one, the second one down with the little F on it right here, and you can see it's this one. Um, I have it installed, you need to install. I'm gonna click open, click next, click next. And all this wants is to allow the app to active or to access your files on your Android. Just turn that little switch on. And then you should see something like this. Now this is your main menu in here. And if you go to downloads, you know, you can go ahead and delete this forge uh, just by clicking it. We don't need it anymore because we installed it. Go ahead and delete that. And now for My Mind No Me, we're just going to uh, hold it down. We're gonna hold down the file and you should get this copy or you can get this move. I'm gonna go ahead and just click copy, hit this home button, go to main storage, go to Android. And from Android, you wanna go to data. 
and you're just gonna wanna give permission. So click okay and just say use this folder. At the very bottom, say allow. Okay, and once you do that, scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, you'll see this .NET KDT .pojev launch. Now you might have some other stuff, so it may not be the very, very bottom, but you should be finding this .pojev launch uh, file or folder. And in here, it says there's six files. Click in here and you should see uh, kind of like a Minecraft folder. And if you don't, what you wanna do is go to the upper right hand corner. You should have this kind of, kind of hamburger toggle thing, uh, not the three dots, this kind of like hamburger with the switches. And you wanna go down to show hidden files right here. I'm gonna click it. Now, once I click it, you'll see I have a dot Minecraft folder, very similar to what you see um, on your Windows or your Mac. Uh, you do have a Minecraft folder, so click it. Go to mods, so now you have a mods folder. Uh, just paste in here, that's all you need to get the mod going. So we'll go back to Pojab Launcher, get out of here, and we should go and play the game once again. And once we click play, it should start the task and we should be good to go to play the game. All right, now back in the game, uh, once it loads up, you can click the mods folder and you notice uh, over my controllers, you can see there's my mind no me over here, click done. That just shows that you have it installed. So you can go to single player, I already created a folder, but you can go ahead and click create new world um, and create it to whatever you want. But like I said, I created a new world. I said folder, I meant world. So click that and select play world. Now give this some time. It's going to take a minute or two. Uh, remember, this is on your phone, not your computer. The first time it's going to take longer, but um, yeah, it'll take a minute or two. Now, just like that, uh, we're in, right? And it might be a little bit laggy. It really depends on your specs. Mine's kind of laggy, uh, but it's fine. It's totally playable. I can always adjust uh, some stuff. Look at this guy with the sword. You can go ahead and click R right here, and you can select uh, what you want to play as. I'm going to you know, play as pirate. Uh, race will just be human, and then <clears throat> this will be swordsman. Just as basic as you can be. And yeah, that's pretty much it, oh God. Now, you'll notice that my controls are not set to one piece. They're set actually for Dragon Block C, but you can always go ahead and change this in the Pojav launcher settings. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did it to change, uh, change it for Dragon Block C, but all you need to do is create custom keys uh, for your gameplay and however uh, you wanna play it, right? So go ahead and exit here and I'll show you how to do that. Now, if you go back to the Pojav Launcher's main screen, you can go ahead and click custom controls right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the, you know, the controls that you may be used to. Um, like for example, some of the keyboard commands, you just go ahead and click this, uh, I guess, widget control in the middle and you'll see add button. You can load and save these button configurations. I'm gonna go ahead and add some buttons over here. Uh, so there's add button, add button drawer. I'll show you both. Add button just kind of, kind of puts a button right here. So I'm gonna show you some ones that you probably want. I'm gonna click in here and you're gonna get this menu. I'm just gonna change the name of this from new and I'm gonna just call it, I don't know, I'm gonna call it menu. Um, and menu is just gonna be the escape key because you know, sometimes you're gonna wanna access the, the menu. So I guess you can click um, back. That's gonna be back, I believe. Okay, now, one of the things that you should be aware of is that the PRI is basically left click and SEC is right click on the mouse. Uh, so left click is gonna attack. That's gonna be really weird in that position. So I'm just gonna kind of move it right here by this uh, square, which is the jump button. That seems to make sense. You might have to move things around. I'm just gonna show you this for, uh, you know, as an example, uh, inventory is uh, basically E on your keyboard that shows up your inventory. Now this is good to go. You're just gonna click the gear once again. Oh, I never showed you what the drawer means. So if you click gear, add button drawer. If you click the drawer, it just basically gives you an option uh, to add more buttons to it. Uh, I don't need these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And then click save. Now this gets saved inside your Minecraft folder, or the basically the, the pose you have Minecraft folder. Uh, I'm just gonna click OK. You wanna save it to default. If you save a different name, it's not gonna automatically load that up unless you load it. So I'm just gonna click OK. Um, all right, so now I'm just gonna manually exit out of this. Go ahead and close out of that. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. That's all you need to do. And be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.